Hi everyone, this video is about our final project for the class EE599 Deep Learning. The topic of our project is gender change of face using cycle GANs. Recently, there was a news article on a crime committed which involved facial disguise with gender change. Our target is to improve the performance of biometrics surveillance systems which are not entirely robust to disguises by giving it examples of corner cases. In order to achieve our target, we start with collecting data from the Celebate dataset. Next, we program our code in Keras. After that, we test it on the Monet to Photo dataset on which previous work has been done. We use the same model for our application and experiment with identity loss function to improve results. Similar work has been carried out involving this kind of domain translation. One such work is pix to pix using conditional GAN. However, this is trained using paired images, which is not available for our application. We propose CycleGAN as a solution to tackle this issue. CycleGAN is a type of generative adversarial network which is used to convert images from one domain into another domain. The main advantage of CycleGAN is that it does not require pairs of images. The architecture of a CycleGAN consists of two generators and two discriminators. The task of the generator is to produce fake images of males and females that are as similar as possible to the real images. The task of the discriminator is to distinguish between the generated fake images and real images. The CycleGAN model implements both a male to female conversion and a female to male conversion. For simplicity, I will talk about a male to female conversion as an example. Our model receives a real male image as an input. This image is fed through a generator which converts the male image into a fake female image as can be seen. Now this image is fed into a discriminator along with the real images of females and the task of the discriminator here is to identify the differences and distinguish between what is a real image and what is a fake image. It then produces the output saying whether it's the image is fake or real and this output is used to train both the generator and the discriminator. This slide shows the block diagram for a male to female conversion and this slide shows the end to end block diagram for a female to male conversion. The training objective of the cycle GAN consists of two types of losses. In addition to the adversarial loss implemented by most GANs, cycle GAN introduces a new type of loss which is known as a cycle consistency loss. The main intuition behind the cycle consistency loss is to reconvert the generated female image back into a male image so that it matches the original image as much as possible. In addition to this, we also implement the identity loss in the training objective. The identity loss ensures that the color composition remains almost similar between the input image and the output image. Now, that we know how the architecture of our cycle GAN looks like, we can go ahead with the implementation of the same. The first step in this is to perform data processing. The original Celebe data set contains 200,000 images of size 256 by 256. We choose only the best images from this data set and convert them into 128 by 128 color images. Here are a few samples of the Celebe data set. Next, we implement the code in Keras. After the successful implementation of the code, we want to test its performance on another dataset. To do so, we evaluate its performance against a Monet to Photo dataset which contains of images by the artist Monet and the photorealistic images. These are the results of our uh, model implementation. As it can be seen, our model has done a very good job in producing photorealistic images from the original Monet's paintings. The generator architectures explained in the previous slides have roughly 11.3 million trainable parameters each. On the other hand, the discriminator has around 2.7 million parameters. However, not all the parameters are trained at the same time. The generator parameters are kept fixed when updating the discriminator parameters and vice versa. The training time for each epoch on a P2.x large system on AWS is approximately 2 hours. This slide shows the discriminator loss and the generator loss as the training progresses. As you can see in the initial stages, the discriminator loss is pretty low, which indicates that it is clearly able to distinguish between fake and real images. 
as also indicated but the very high generated loss because of the bad quality images produced as the training has progressed you can see the discriminated losses increasing gradually and the generated losses decreasing this indicates that the discriminator is no longer able to identify between fake and real images that is because of the generator being able to produce more and more better quality images let us now examine the results of a network the following are the results of male to female conversion in the left upper corner you can see the generated image has a darker eyelashes rounder lips on the cheeks and the feministic features are clearly emphasized strongly also on the lower right corner the original image has glasses on it but still you can see the network is clearly able to change various features like the region around the mouth there is no longer any mustache there and the cheek lines are also smoother now looking at the results of female to male conversion you can see in the right upper corner the generated image has a broader jaw and nose and the skin has also become more rougher around the face also in the right lower region the generated face has beard added around the mouth and in general the total features are more masculine as you can see all the transformations are emphasizing changing the feminine features or masculine features which is exactly like its design experiment without the identity loss for the training results in quite bizarre images as you can see the generated images has background and foreground content with the color change which is not related to change of facial features this behavior is clearly undesired and we can clearly conclude that identity loss is an important factor for training so is the generator able to generate perfect images the answer is clearly no as you can see in the following results the generated images are sometimes grainy and blurry as well also the hair is clearly not being affected significantly as you can see in the bottom sometimes the generated images are so bad you can't even see its a face finally to conclude our video we have looked at the various concepts in cycle gan and analyzed why it is better than the existing approaches we have successfully implemented the code in keras and tested on money to photo dataset and finally we have trained a model using the celebi faces dataset by performing various experiments on the architecture as well we have found a better result using the resnet 9 architecture in the transformation layer and the generated images are sometimes acceptable and we can see that this project is a success